Proverbs. Hey there, friends. I'm going to teach you how to make a helmet uh, penny bottle opener. If you're making them with me, please name it as well. Uh, you're going to have to download some files, and to do that, you're going to have to use the link in the description to get to this Thingiverse project. Under the Thing files, you need the opener. I'm just going to put those in a folder called Helmet Open for Opener, so they're easy to see. So there's one, two, and three files all loaded. And then you can return to Tinkercad, and I need you to import them. You need to import them one at a time and keep them the exact same size because all the parts are built to do something special. They take a moment to import, but when you're done, just choose the next one. And when that completes, grab the last one. All right, so the process of making this is pretty simple. Uh, the first thing you want to do is rotate that 90 degrees around itself. I grabbed the wrong one. And then it is going to go down near the bottom, and it's got to be a hole. Now you can see, I'm going to scroll in, that the ear hole uh, causes a little bit of an issue. So I solved that by just hiding the hole, making this circle larger than the ear hole, but the exact same depth as the ear hole, which is six millimeters, and then grouping those so it was no longer an issue. Ah, uh, one issue is it had three items there. I'm gonna hide this for a moment, and I'm gonna bring that penny that we imported uh, back in. I'm gonna hide the hole. I'm gonna group those. I'm gonna pick a cooler color. I'm going to do show all and now you just line up the hole where the bottle opener works wherever you want when you're happy select those and group it and you can see now that your penny uh, has a spot for the bottle to fit in and then when that finishes uh, move to your area where the penny goes line it up where you're going to want it and push it almost all the way in. I'm going to switch to the top view so you can see that I do leave it sticking out. It's not terribly scientific. Uh, one or two millimeters extra should be fine from what I found. But then you need to align it so it's halfway on the vertical axis. And you can do that by just hitting that button. It is now lined up and you can hit group. And you have just created your own custom helmet penny bottle opener prints relatively quickly if you want to add something cool like a school logo up here I would simply go to the text button so I'm gonna set my work plane I'm gonna drag my text and uh, I'm gonna put go whoa I'm gonna make it a hole I'm gonna shrink it so it fits and then you only want to push it in about two millimeters so I'm going to make it, control Z, I'm going to click this one, I'm going to make it two millimeters thick, and then I'm going to push it in two millimeters. And that way it won't cut into the uh, bottom. If you want to be super cool and have it on both sides, uh, you can do that as well. Just remember that um, you may want to mirror the second copy uh, so that it is uh, the right side for that half the helmet. So there's my mirrored image. And I'm going to push it down so it pokes out the back. Stick it in. Shut off that work plane by hitting W and then clicking anywhere else. And then when you group the whole project, you've got your helmet with the cutout logo on both sides. So that's how you create a super cool penny opener in no time. Thanks for following along and keep tinkering.